Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province has been promoting tree planting among industrial enterprises with the aim of reducing atmospheric microdust concentrations. This initiative has proven very successful in terms of enterprise participation. Responding to the provincial initiative, titled Factory in the Woods Program, Samsung Electronics in Pyeongtaek City plans to plant 628 trees around its in-house childcare centre this year and has already planted 268 trees. These trees, including Zelkova, Cherry and Metasequoia, have significant air purifying effects. This past March, Gyeonggi Province, home to 30% of air pollutant generating enterprises in Korea, secured agreements from 121 enterprises for participation in the Factory in the Woods program. As of September, nearly 15,000 trees had been planted at 83 industrial sites, surpassing the original target by 10%. With the expected addition of approximately 3,000 more trees, a total of almost 18,000 trees will be planted by the end of the year. According to the Korea Forest Service, one tree can absorb 35.7 grams of airborne contaminants. This is equivalent to 168 kilograms per hectare of forest annually. From 2021, Kyunggi Province plans to expand this industrial site forestation program to all industrial enterprises in the province. In addition, the province will promote the opening of arboreal resting areas within enterprises for local residents. Kyunggi Province began pursuing legislation for the return of development profits to residents in accordance with a pledge made by Kyunggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung. This follows National Assembly proposals for the amendment of two related acts. These amendment drafts include the expansion of the public housing project range and the inclusion of area-wide autonomous bodies in the distribution of development profits. The passage of these amendments will enable Governor Lee to more substantially pursue the return of development profits to residents. Kyunggi Province recently announced that it will prohibit the participation of so-called paper companies in provincial construction bids from October. Exclusion will be based on investigations undertaken at bidder business sites for related registration qualifications such as capital amounts, office space, and number of technical personnel. Those enterprises confirmed to be duplicitous will also receive administrative punishments. Those that have already received contracts will be subject to contract cancellation and bid deposit seizure. According to a survey of Kyunggi residents, two out of every three respondents support a time card system for construction workers. Undertaken by the Commission surveyor, Real Meter, this four-day survey of 2,600 adults in the province ran from September 2nd. It revealed that 68% of respondents favor a work time control system. While the majority of respondents shared the view that this system will help prevent wage payment delays and facilitate payment of appropriate wages, construction workers asserted the prevention of the illegal employment of foreign workers as its greatest effect. The time card system is currently being used at four provincial construction sites, including that of the new provincial government complex. With the number of pig farms with confirmed cases of African swine fever having increased to 13, Kyunggi Province Governor Lee Jae-myung has instructed officials to pursue all possible measures to the utmost degree in preventing the further spread of the disease. These measures include the investigation of all unlicensed pig farms in every administrative area. This follows the confirmation of the disease at one unlicensed farm on October 
최대한 빨리 혹시 우리의 방역망에서 제외되어 있는 아주 극소 규모의 돼지 농가가 있는지를 찾아야 되겠습니다. Governor Lee instructed officials to consider the option of buying all pigs from those farms that have fewer than 200 animals so as to vacate such farms. He also visited the African Swine Fever Situation Room at Yangju City Hall to encourage thorough disease control efforts by local officials. On October 1st, the inauguration of the Kyanggi team for the 54th National Skills Competition took place at the Northern Kyanggi Provincial Government Complex with the participation of Vice Governor Lee Hua Soon, Kyanggi team members and coaches. Seeking to be the overall winner, the Kyungi team of 156 members will participate in 49 events. During this year's National Skills Competition, which will run for eight days from October 4th in Busan, more than 1,800 specialists from around the nation will compete in 50 events. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.